Welcome to another Land Rats episode. This week, we're installing the electrical system. This is actually almost finished, even though it doesn't look like it. But uh, we'll show you how we got to this point so far. Let me show you the electrics. This is the electrics, yeah? There's a, there's a, uh, a genie we've still got to put back in the, in the bottle. This is the ghost that's out of the bag. All the wires, I think that's a... I think this is a 220 volt one. That I think is a cables for the... for the windlass in the front. And that's a... old distributor distribution panel with the fuses taken out. The fuses are right here somewhere. I'm going to start taking the wires out of our fuse box and I'm going to mount the fuse box. We're going to try and use, because we've got all those wires here and it's nice and thick battery cables so we can use the wires. Also the wires they've used has got the shroud around uh, which also limits interference to the rest of the boat. So. Uh, they're very expensive, I think. So we're gonna try and use whatever we can. Everything we use second hand, we don't have to buy new. So that even reduces our carbon footprint. Yeah. So we're saving the planet by using second hand, second hand stuff. So here we go. This just arrived, it's our inverter, so let's open it up quickly. It was a lot easier than expected. We'll uh, list all the specifications for you shortly. Here's the front view of it, came with a lucky instruction manual. And the two batteries are below in this box and it doesn't have a door that you can open it. We're probably going to rip this thing apart. Uh, to take out the batteries, place them in individual boxes and we also want to split because it's a 24 volt system we're probably gonna extract 12 volt for some of the electronics from it as well and um, go from there just brought the inverter down to the workshop we're quickly gonna put it there on a table and then we'll explain to you what it's all about okay here it is it's a 1500 volt hour um, solar hybrid full what's it sine wave um, solar inverter it's actually made for in-house use you can see it's actually supposed to be plugged into a wall permanently but we're gonna uh, use the solar panel charging um, on it and see if that works we got it at a lack of deal so I think that should be okay I'm quickly gonna take it apart and then we'll we'll talk about it more later We've got the inverter here and then the two um, 110 amp hour deep cycle batteries and uh, well this is just the box that's basically used to. So I'm going to quickly take it inside the boat see where I can fit all of this. I think I know where I want to put this, just not sure about the batteries yet. Now yeah we want to fit in the inverter here so I've marked it there I've marked it there with a pencil to cut it out so then the whole face will come through we'll have to build a little bit of a stand so it can sit on it but here's the two batteries in you can have a look there the two batteries are in so it looks like yeah there should be a space here for that inverter to lie here so we will have a nice space there and we've got a bit of storage at the bottom what we've done now is we've put the base here this is the base where the inverter goes on so now we put this plank here so when we put it in it'll fit in nicely it'll fit in nicely there 
So what we've got to do now is put a strap around here. Strap around here so you can tie it in. And the bike, boat cap sizes, whatever, the inverter will stay there. And this frame gets bolted onto the, into the boat. I've got that, the section there for the, for the inverter. inverter. Yes, a little cabinet I made. It's a cabinet that I made. It goes in like this. See, this is nice and closed. I've closed on the side, so now we've got an extra. We're utilizing the section at the bottom here. Yeah? Makes a nice uh, bit of a storage. I've cut out that section there. We're going to put a little lid there so we've got some access from this side because we won't be able once the inverters up top here and the planks are in we won't be able to access this uh, this space at the bottom but now we can still use it there okay now we're going to take it out now paint it nicely sand it down a bit and paint it nicely with epoxy and then uh, once we finish we can glue it in there Just glued in that um, thing for the inverter. This is what the wiring looked like. Then I clean it up and put new tape. Yeah. And we're taking off the old tape, which is a this old fraud tape. We bought some specialized self-fusing rubber tape, which will fuse. This is a genuine South African company. Bradley, I think they they were one of the leaders in in, in, in creating epoxy. Nice, sold it together there. See that already has got the rubber on there. You see that's a rubber self-fusing tape. But I see it's open there. We need to close it up there, so it must be sealed. Yeah. Okay. And then this plugs into the DB box. Yeah, this is a positive in. Give me one of those uh, rolls here. Let me start taping this tight here. Compared to the old side, you see this stuff is not actually sticking. It's just the glue is long gone. 28 years ago, the glue has vanished. So we'll redo it the same as the other side. So that now fuses and becomes one rubber isolation. This is the DB box that we took out all the wires of and cleaned it a bit, even the wood and everything, that we have to epoxy behind the chart table there now. Epoxy it into position now. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Well, we need a battery for the 12 volt system. And the cheapest way I can think of doing it is somewhere grabbing it right here from my own car. So we remove the battery from down there and we installed it in the boat, which we'll show you in a second. First of all, I want to show you my son's drawing of the electrical system. You see, self-explanatory, eh? Piece of pie. So now what we're doing here, see we've got all these wires here, we're going to need to get it into the boat. So we're going to run, we're going to run a negative line, that's a negative 12 volt. On that negative bus bar, that's a negative bus bar, then we're going to have a positive bus bar onto the circuit breakers that go in there. So now we're going to route the, the negative through here, through the bathroom there, underneath the floor, and then there by the engine, we'll go in the engine and the battery, the starting battery we're going to mount at the back there, we're going to make a battery box for that, so the starting battery will be on that side there, and then we'll have a, uh, an 
isolator on the panel here. Then the other negative will run through here on the back here. See here, will run here. And go through those two holes there. And then to the front where the, the winch control is there. And also have a otherwise running up here to the mast. And then the second battery, we're gonna put the deep cycle, another deep cycle 12 volt in there. Um, with an isolator and then run that to the top there. Things and clean them up so we're gonna glue them in so I can cable tie the, the cable to the mounting so we're gonna put the mountings in now. We also bought an additional uh, 12 volt deep cycle battery that will be used in conjunction with the windlass and the radio as well as my car battery. Most of the wires have been routed now. You can see we epoxy little fittings in here that you're just supposed to put a cable tie through and then keep the wires together but we'll put a cable tie through and fasten them properly as soon as we're completely done. We're at the moment busy with the lights and stuff so might still be a couple of days. There's my little car battery that one's connected to the one in the front. We also built this little bracket for it to stand on just behind the, the shaft. Here's some more wire laid. And you also see we've got the same fittings in there but i think we've got most of the wires here sorted so you can probably put the zip ties on there with the inverter fastened in position the last thing was to just pop in this plug that used to have a different uh, fitting at the end where you could connect it for your house power but we just put a, a, a plug in there and also routed another plug to the front of the boat there's the other plug we're actually running all the lights and everything in the boat through the inverter at the moment and uh, from our solar panel. There you can see we also got our new panel which is currently connected through the new solar regulator. But um, what we're actually going to do is we've got this big panel and then we've got this little panel and um, we're going to put the big panel through the 24 volt system in the boat and put the little panel onto the 12 volt system in the boat. We got this extra solar regulator. Um, initially we thought we would, it would be able to switch between the 12 volt and the 24 volt system so it could charge both but it doesn't look like it can do that. So we're just going to take power the two 12 volt batteries through this one and charge the 24 volt system through the inverter. These are the two battery isolators that were in the back. We actually moved them now because we decided to put the inverter where they used to be. But we're still using this one so we can isolate the, the 12 volt batteries, the deep cycle and the normal car one in the, in the back. So we can decide which one to charge or which one to use to, to lift up the winch. And we actually tested the winch, the winch works fine. Yeah. It might not look like much but the basics for the power is in. So we're sorted for now. Just gotta put this panel back in after we make it pretty and then uh, go sailing, right? What? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, see you next time. I'm gonna try and make some sense of all of this. What are all these wires for? Tommy! What's happening with these wires here, man? Huh? Welcome to Africa. Now fuck off.